Uh, Nora Alupo, still that lady shining there, scoring a brace and ensuring her team gets that 3.5 million Uganda shillings. I'm joined in studio B by a, a lady who we thank for being able to come down for us whenever we needed her to come and analyze for us women's football in Uganda, Coach Majida Nantanda. And of course, my partner in crime, a journalist like me at Uganda Broadcasting Corporation TV, the nation's biggest, Ronnie Santos Mwini, um, a.k.a. Dr. Waka Papula. Welcome, Majida Nantanda. Good day and happy Mother's Day. Um, uh, that, is, that is Coach Majida. Ronnie Santos, how was United here yeah. yesterday for the, for the Uganda Cup? You're back for women's football. First of all, you're an agent of football in Uganda. Are there any girls you have? But first, say your hellos to Ugandans that are watching us from all over the country. And please tell a friend who is not on TV that we are live on our various uh, social media platforms, especially YouTube and Facebook. Santos. Thank you very much. Uh, good morning, Uganda. Uh, it's a pleasure. Uh, actually, it's a good afternoon. <laughs> it's a pleasure being here once again. Um, like you said, uh, there are many girls that play football uh, at an international level, uh, but Uganda, we, we have not had many pros or the people, uh, I mean, the girls who play football beyond Uganda. I think there are not more than 20, but we, we thank uh, the, the, the girls who've managed to, to, go, to that, go that far. Um, in my management, or under my management, um, it's very unfortunate. I have not managed any of them, but uh, it is a wish. Um, today's final, it's going to be a very big one. And uh, first of all, we need to thank UBC and the Federation for the partnership for the first of its kind, because these girls have been playing there, nobody has been even knowing. But now the game is being publicized, and at least this marketing is enough. This platform is going to be very good for them. Uh, I was reading a certain article last, uh, last week. One of our ladies, Daphne Karunji, I think Vanessa, something yeah, like that. Vanessa Karunji, a yeah, goalkeeper at... Uh, I, at uh, something like uh, that. She, she cooperates. She cooperates, yeah. She, she went to Denmark, yeah. and uh, mm. when she was uh, being interviewed, she said the team watched her through the Facebook channel. I think that, that, that her team, she cooperates, have a Facebook when they are going when the games these games are going on they they actually stream live the games like we do now ubc or star tv okay uh, the team ha managed to sort to, to, to watch her and she finally got a club so who knows maybe some other people are watching ubc tv today uh. and it will be a blessing for these girls to actually use this opportunity to uh, to, to to sell or to market them uh, their, their 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 game but also um i think Ugandan football is somehow improving because you, you have seen that lady Aluponora scoring two goals. She even had uh, the other goal again. She's she's been scoring. Yeah, she's, she's uh, by the way she is as as it stands as of now going into this final where certain girl called Millicent Nyamwembe is on five goals. Nora Alupo is top scorer on six goals. Yeah, very true. So now we are going into a final whereby we have some two crucial players. She maroons have got their... Uh, no, we uh, shall get there, Santos. Okay. Let's, let me first cue in uh, Madam Majida Nantanda, who's followed these games closely. Majida Nantanda, we are coming to a conclusion of this. I know at times in football, uh, when the referee blows the final whistle, we ask him, Katulagewa Sebo. So now, <laughs> it's coming to that stage where we're no longer coming here at 9 a.m. in the morning, where the girls are leaving the bubble down at the center and going back to their homes. Majida Nantanda, what has this football been like for you before we delve into this particular game, Rines against Chimaros in the final? Actually, I would like to thank so much UBC. It's a national broadcaster, so it has actually done it for women, it has done it for the country, to see that they have been able to telecast these games. Then now, even the organizers as FUFA, it was a, a well, good idea, like they thought of, to be able to put these girls and so that the entire country can see them, even outside Uganda. So for now, these are the finals. I know fans will be asking, where do we have to go now? For sure, it has been entertaining. And also to thank so much all those women and girls who have been involved in this, just playing for their clubs, right from the Super League up to now, the second tier of Ugandan Women Nash, uh, League. Yeah, thank you very much, Coach Majid and of course, and of course the intros from uh, Ronnie Santos are also immense. But Santos, I tell you one thing, that there are many girls down here that need your help. Because we've got a couple of girls that are playing football across the world. As the teams walk off, let's delve into this. Ronnie Santos, Shimaruns. Yeah, Shimaruns, a team that has been uh, very, very uh, attacking. They have actually scored 13 goals. 
And uh, I, I believe they have got all it takes to actually pull off this. However, they are going to face a team that is too defensive. I mean, they have only con uh, considered five goals. I don't think it is going to be easy for Shimaruns to come up and win, especially when you look at the goalkeeper of uh, uh, Rhines F uh, FC. Uh, she, she, she managed to save uh, one penalty in the, yeah, the quarter-final. Um, uh, Rines has conceded, uh, has conceded uh, uh, one goal in normal time. And it was a penalty in the opening game against Townview. Their goalkeeper, Elsie Najemba, like Aroni says, saving a penalty off Victoria Nama, Namakula in that semi-final. In the semi-final, it was a 5-4 penalty victory. In the sem sorry, in the quarter-final. In the semi-final, it was a 3-4 victory. Uh, build on, build on uh, Santos as we bring in our so, coach, Majida. Okay, thank you. I, I believe, uh, uh, first of all, we need to believe that their target has already been achieved, both teams. I think their main target was to qualify. For the so we shall league. have the game. It will be like a fair game, I may say. However, <laughs> they, they need to win. So um, it is going to be a very big one and I would go for Shimaruns to win the game. Uh, but of course it won't be all that easy. Probably uh, I won't be surprised if we, this game is goes into penalties. Okay, Coach Majida Nantanda, I'm uh, Rines, proud of a couple of players, but of course their coach Nyanzi Bright is so proud of the goalkeeper Elsie Namakula, sorry, Elsie and Najemba, and, and he says every time, as long as she signs, she, she signs, then the team will perform. But of course, they've got a youngster, uh, Nalule Shakira. Do you think she can uh, upset the odds today against the Maroon side that has a lot of firepower? Actually, for this game, I just pray, and I think it's okay for players to be mentally fit. Now they are psychology, psychology that will help every team that is playing in these finals, mostly with the girls. And I ask coaches not to put so much pressure, their own pressure to the players. Let them play. And I think Elsa has been doing well, in my opinion, also or today. Also, she has to show us the best of her best. And then Shakira, those are the two players I will talk about from Rennes. And being that we know Maroon is playing that kind of attacking game. But I just wish if also Rennes today comes in with that same mindset that we are playing a attacking kind of game, we are going to have an entertaining game, but I'm not going to predict. But I just wish if all teams come with two things, attacking minded, but as well thinking of defending, because uh, the best way of attacking is defending as well. And, and I can confirm to you that the teams uh, that Rennes has put out is Najemba, Uja, Kautha, Nancha, Aloyo, Anantume, Nababi, Narule, Shakira, Eracha, Nanking, and Nakubulwa. And of course, Shimaruns have Akujo in goal, Nanjunju, Nanju, Najuka, Nantongo, Babiri, Adong, Nagai, Naruima, Anita, Masinde, and Namembe. Um, uh, uh, Santos, uh, Maru, Shimaruns has a great striking uh, quartet that is very hard to stop. What exactly do you think as a, as a scout, and uh, I know you've got to have some management and coaching skills on you, what can uh, Rines do to ensure that they stop Lillian Masinde, that they stop Millicent Namwembe, that they stop Kautha Narima and Anita Babidi? Yeah. Because that quartet can score goals when and if they like. Yeah, uh, a final is always a final. Uh, everyone is always scared of I mean, all the teams respect each other. That is the final. And uh, I very much understand the coach has been watching uh, uh, Shimaroon. So all she needs to do today is to make sure she breaks, or rather the, the, the ladies break the links, the strong links that supply the, the top quality or the top fire-armed ladies of okay. Maroons that actually hurt the defense. So once the links are, I mean, are blocked, uh, I believe they may achieve what they need. Of course, it is also not going to be easy because Rines beat a Bunyarugul Tiger that was actually the favorites, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. So if they could hunt them, hunt them down, then there is no chance uh, why they should not uh, put, put, put Maroons down. And okay. like I said, being a final, they are all ready for this. They know what it takes and they know what it means for them. Uh, coach, yes. no one can better talk about what's happening down there. A few minutes before the teams walked onto that tough there, mm -hmm. what happened in the dressing room, the final remarks. Put yourselves in the shoes of the coach of Bright at uh, Rainez and of course uh, Sida at uh, Maroons and talk to those players in a minute before we cross over to Peter Tai, who will give us commentary for this final. Actually, when you look at the patterns or the formation of how these coaches have organized their teams, it is an attacking-minded game whereby they can, it is 4-3-3, four, four, three, four, three, three, but it can be 4-3-2-1, depending, or five uh, m m more numbers in the final third, the two in the midfield can come and join in. Now for the coaches, don't put your pressure on these players. And for players, just control emotions. This is a final, we understand, and you know the target is to, to 
reach the final, take the trophy, but just do away with all the pressure, do away with all the emotion, try to control your emotion according to what you have coming to this on the field. In the first five minutes, try to concentrate. And after that, I wish that we'll all have the best game. And most especially, make sure that you entertain, you, you play an entertaining game because the world is watching, the country is watching, so that you can advertise yourself and help yourself as players to market your own game. Yeah, my um, referee, much the referee Habiba Naigaga taking the, the, the respective captains, Amelie Saint Namwembe, and of course uh, Elsie Najemba into the finals, final, final bits, of final details before we head into this game. Santos, any final remarks before we cross over for this final game? By the way, whose winner takes eight million Uganda shillings, but importantly, qualification as number one from the big league of women's football to the FUFA Super League. Yeah, my only request is for all the Ugandans who are watching, tell a friend to, that there is a big game. Let us watch the game, and of course, let's be proud of our ladies and uh, you never know uh, you, when you watch or you, you share their links on, on on facebook on our other social plat uh, media platforms share you never know who will watch it probably the person who is going to watch it will help us uh, push this game forward yeah. that is it from us here in the studio um uh, majida nanta and santos roni mwine dr waka papula and me john banson and we cross over to peter tai who will give us commentary for the first half we see you at 45 hopefully by then the football will be mouth-watering and entertaining. win the title and the bragging rights of being uh, the champions of uh, the Elite League here. For the Shimaroons, it will be Namwembe Millicent to get us underway here as we actually look proper to see if we can actually come to a conclusion today. It is the finale of the action. We're just waiting to see if uh, the finals will be how they are supposed to be anyways. Waiting for the center referee to get us underway here. And if all goes according to plan, it will be one of those games that we shall be living to remember for a very, very long time. It's waiting to find out exactly how it stands as uh, we're waiting for the actual time to clock in. Midday is uh, the actual time. And the game definitely is off here tonight. It is the She Maroons up against uh, the one and only Rinez. Like you see how far this will be driving up on the slow note as the Maroons this time will be the ones to get underway. Ball just goes up front. Millicent is off. Could have been a very quick goal, but uh, she's offside, Millicent. Namwembe. Oh, this score actually two goals in the semi final, Namwembe. Oh. Oh, free kick shall be started this time here. It will be sent in very long by 15 Aloyo. Long from Aloyo. They square it away yet again. Wuja. Ball collected uh, near the center, but the ball just goes away now for another throw in here to Maroons. She Maroons continue to probe and probe and see if they can actually get more of the balls away. This was the offside that actually resulted into the goal cancelled by Millicent Namwembe. She was offside. It would have been a very, very quick start to the final. But uh, the most important thing is that nothing yielded from their throw in. Throw shall be brought in by Justin Najuko, with one looking to get this ball up front. Najuko. Najuko again here. Tries to beat two. Oh, there was uh, Ali Faulo and Najuko Justin. 
looking to see how far we shall be able to drive on this. And uh, Justin Ajuko looking to sweep this one inside. She'll take her time here, Najiko. Long from Najuko. It's a very heavy one, punched away. But unfortunately, just rolls out for a goal kick. There's no punching there whatsoever. But this is goes away there for a goal kick. They were very much open ended. Trying to pick up the pieces here slowly by slowly. Up front. Trading up slowly by slowly. That's going to be another free kick. Long ball forward. Collected yet again at the mid. Back to the defense. Cleared away by Joelia. It's more pressure here. Slight push there, but the referee allows it to continue. Shall be a throw in here now to the She Maroons. And it will be brought in quickly by Lydia Ajinju. Throws that ball forward, Lydia. Some bit of a flick through. And again, good play from the back zone there. It was uh, the lady Anita Babirie. And the ball continues to get its way through. Throw in. Anita. Nothing coming in from there. Ball just easily. Till he dallied away. Lydia Najunju. Adongo. Najuko. Trying that ball forward now. Looking for the captain. Namwembe Nibi set. And stolen away by Aloyo. Ball just slides behind slightly. Juelia. Najuko. Masinde trying to venture forward but the clearance not that good but uh, the Shimaroons will be getting themselves uh, throw in also to throw in referee says that will be a free kick Long ball forward by Aloyo. Well, very many changes for the Rene side that uh, did play in the semi final. They made a few changes on there. But now the pressure keeps on piling up for Rene. Cuts away. Small chances for the loose ball through, but uh, away to the goalkeeper, Kujo. This is a Kujo. Unfortunately for Masinde, ball just uh, rolls off and uh, goes away for a throw in. So we brought him quickly. Let's wait and see what comes in from Wuja Catherine to get us underway with this one. Wuja. Masinde. Straight away to the goalkeeper, Najemba. Elsie Najemba here. to pile up slowly by slowly as the game mans up Nakinja Morin loses possession it's in the midfield to Nalure and to be brought in by Nantongo Diana be the one to deliver this ball very much long. Tongo to nobody in particular. So long ball forward here by Rines. As they look for the action, there's more pressure here. And again, uh, 
The Maroons doing perfectly well at the back, trying to defend gallantly. Solid play there from uh, the defensive line. Babiri Joel here together with Nantongo Diana. All standing very well at the D. Not giving away anything for granted in this one. Let's mark, let's mark. Adam. Anita. Millicent Namwembe. Anita yet again trying to drive up, but the ball goes away for a throw in. A lot of intensity going on in uh, the two sides as per now because it looks like uh, there's no one's trying to get that ball forward to see if he can get himself goal. So a lot to play for really. It's a big clearance there and a weird collision. That's very, very painful, you have to admit. Peace. It was a, a dongo. It's colliding at the back there with uh, Nancha Hilda. Uh, oh, the referee does award the free kick now to Rines, but this is the collision. Oof. Well, actually, I'd admit that Wuja Catherine and that came with a leg there. And also, Adongo came in more harder. So the reason that's why the referee did award that for the free kick. But now here come the Shima Runes up front. They're trying to look for Millicent. Oh, Millicent just can't be caught in. Ball rolls away. Free kick, uh, goal kick rather. Set in away by a lawyer. Collected back in the midfield there by Najuko. Flicked in through. Away by a lawyer. Collected yet again and swept away by Shima Runes now. Najuko, one pass from Adongo. Najuko goes down. Good battle. Very good battle together with Maureen and Chinga. There will be a free kick now to the Shima Runes. We'll be looking to at least get a quick, quick goal. You can see that uh, Justin Najuko is still very uncomfortable. Well, she swings in one. It's not the best of the ideas from Najuko trying to open up on Masinde Lilian. Now this is uh, Najemba. Fight for the ball here at the midfield level. It's collected here by Najuko. Was giving it away so very cheaply there, looking for Iracha Joslin. Down goes Nalule, but the game continues. Movement from Nantume. Stolen by Babiri Anita. Babiri. Adongo. Chuela. Swept away there by Wuja. Now throw here to Shima Runes. Still very much open game. Anything can still come from here. Adongo. Najuko. Adongo. Trying to deliver that ball on the far side. Looking to open up on Babiri Anita. This is Anita. Keep the ball on play. But oof. Just keeps her eyes a little bit off the ball. And uh, goes out for a, a throw in here to Rines. Well, Rin is uh, a side that's actually gone on to pass its uh, positional stance in uh, the competition. There was a lot coming in for Rines coming in this one. They have a lot to play for, really, Rines. Having lost a founder. And uh, that actually happened around March prior to the competition getting underway in April. 
Marine. So basically, you can think that the ladies all say the ladies are currently playing for him. Should be a freaky for the Shimaroons. Lydia Najunju looking to deliver this one. It's a big one from Lydia. It's away there by Nancha. Now collected by Najuko for the Shimaroons. Trying to lick that ball away. Masinde. Ooh, that could be a foul. And referee awards that. Heavy play from Lydia Nababi. Uh, bringing down just the number four, Naluima of the Shimaroons. And that's going to be a free kick. You see the one, two is there and the foul from uh, Nababi. It's free kick to Shimaroons now. Najuko with the delivery. She'll go very long here. Punched away by Esther. So Elsie rather. She's been uh, one of uh, my best goalkeepers in the competition, Elsie Nawavi. And that will be another free kick here. The battle becoming very heavy. Now Chinga Morin was the one that actually did foul. Again, very good play at the midfield there by Naluima. Najuko. Long ball it is inside the D. It's brushed away, but not very perfectly, but now away by Nancha. Okay, Sabe, 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 doing a lot in this year's edition of uh, the Elite League, trying to make sure that all goes well. They'd like to win their first title in Ugandan football. Masinde, Tanzanian, born but now ready to change the nationality to Uganda alongside uh, Mwembe Millicent, who is basically also Kenyan born. But this is Masinde. So fighting for the ball perfectly, Masinde. Good skills there. And looking to leap that ball, Naluima, and lose possession. You can see how tight the game is at the center of the park. They are very, very difficult to play. It's free kick. It's a nice play from uh, Nalule. Shakira. Aloyo. Bouncing ball inside. Flag remains down. Could be a chance, but uh, well driven over the bar for a goal kick. A little bit of a scare, you have to admit. And the Shimaroons have to be slightly awake, otherwise, Iracha Joslin would actually make them pay for that. Jazzy number nine there, Iracha. It's goal kick for Nantongo Diana. Will be the one to swing this ball forward. Tongo. Battle for the ball in the midfield. That's where the battle has been in this competition here. Kujo. Nancha. Collected calmly in the midfield. Good turn there from Nagai. On pass, they're looking for more bodies forward this. Uh, Maroon side, but they would be able to get themselves a throw in. Throw here. Lydia Najunju be the one to get this ball underway. It's the finale or the final over the Elite Women's League here. This is the final. It all ends today. And that gentleman there knows exactly the meaning of uh, winning a final. Peace, a lawyer. Nice, let's go. Stolen away well by Nalui Ma. With a cross ball forward to Millicent. But she's offside. Just failing to time a run. And when the Millicent there, just failing to time a run well. That's not the second time, if I'm not mistaken, for her to be gotten offside. Millicent. Not happy about the call that. And now it will be a lawyer to get this ball forward here. Loyo gliding head away and the chess is from Masinde. Just can't keep the ball on play Masinde. And the Rines will be getting themselves a throw. 
Well, there you go. Just spending your time around. I think she was kept inside by a lawyer, if I'm not mistaken. Uja? Nalu Yima has been a rock in that midfield there. Oh, we to have a, a quick yellow card, and that goes to Lydia Nababi. The referee telling her three times here, there, and there. No more. I'll be a yellow card to Lydia Nababi. So we'll be a free kick now to. Free kick coming up now to Shimaroon. First yellow card of this game. Shown to Lydia Nababi. Hello, yo. Of Venice, the women football club. Good play there from Nagai. Dongo. One, two, play here. Nice movement from Nagai again. This is a Dongo. This is possession. Nalule. Orine. Try to open up play. Well read there again by Lydia Najunju. Babi Rianita. Looking for the options. Confirmation of that yellow card to Rene's jersey number 13, Navavi. Iracha. Adongo. Still a very much open in the game. Collected by Joan Nagai. Going to drop that ball forward. A good play there from Aloyo. She's been a solid rock at the back, but this is Adongo. Najuko. Adongo again with a long ball forward, but uh, just could not get the path of Namwembe. Stolen away by the captain, Najemba Elsie. Masinde chasing. Naja doing well. Now collected again at the midfield. Naluima doing well there. Well, the final pass is, I think, the problem here for the Shimarus. They play relatively well. But that final pass actually didn't cost them very much. So we shall be having a throw in here to Shimarus. Yes, so 19 minutes of the game already played. And this finale down at the FUFA Technical Center. Well, if you're just joining us, uh, there was an early game, a loser's match that was played between Gunyaru Guru against Wakiso Hills. And of course, we did see Gunyaru Guru going on to win that one by two goals to one. Wonderful game played as early as 9 a.m. in the mornings. It's away by Nantongo. Accepted yet again there. I'm collected firmly to the wing. Given away yet again cheaply. Chess is on here. Junju. Very good work there from Nantume Anita, but unfortunately, the whistle goes against her, and that will be a free kick now to the Shimaroons. We're looking to deliver this very quickly, Shimaroons. For what the ball goes, swept away gallantly by Nalule Shakira. Adongo, Lydia, Anita, Lydia again. One pass to the midfield, this is good football. Anita, fighting to keep the ball but loses that ball yet again. Hariat, Kuda, Kauda rather, are throwing out to the Shimaroons. Lydia. Oh, look at that for the midfield. Ball just failing to go away from the Adongo here. Hariad Kauda puts that ball out for throwing now to the Shimaroons. 21 minutes already played. Not seeing the goalkeepers coming to do any kind of rescue here.
That'll be another throw in to the She Maroons. Lydia looking to deliver this long. Put it back again for another throw in. Lydia. All twice, the ball has actually been going that same direction. Maybe it's time to change direction because you have a dongo open. Looking for Namwembe. To the corner line. It's going to be a goal kick this time. The result from that try there from the Shimaroons. It will be Najimba. Take her time on this, but uh, like as usual, it's uh, Pisa Loyo who has been the one taking all the free kicks. The goal kicks at the same time. Adongo, Millicent fighting, but Millicent cut receive good ball. Najemba Elsie. This is Masinde now. What can they do? Nice Tries to cross the ball. Ball. ball is still in possession. Masinde crosses straight up to the goalkeeper Najemba. And the coach of Rene is not happy with uh, a lawyer. Again, very, very good play from Masinde. Good play from Masinde. Wuja came through. A lawyer had already moved. And that's the reason as why the coach was not very happy with a lawyer's play. Chess ball through here. Lydia. The one twos are very good from the maroon sometimes. You just enjoy watching them. And again, also for Rines, they just give away possession very cheaply. Masinde on the chess. Masinde. Big clearance there from uh, Chinga. Flag up for the offside. Free kick to Maroons. Well, uh, Jocelyn Iracha. Still failing to get the rhythm in this game. Beginning her first game today, Iracha. Jocelyn. Diana Nantongo. Second ball. Lydia. Rolls away for throwing to Rines. And uh, does it three? Kaudia Hariat shall be the one to hurry up on this. She tries to throw that ball in longer, but uh, scores away for another throw in. Hariat. by Lydia Najunju. Harriet here. Trying to deliver that ball long, but unfortunately for her, the ball just easily glides away for throwing here to Maroons. Lydia Najunju. Looking to, uh, looking to Mwembe, but uh, just goes away to Najemba. Najemba here. And they're doing very well there. Now collected by Nachinga Morin. Pushed away there by Babiria Joelia. And uh, another throw to Rines. Realize that uh, the ball has actually spent a lot of time on that side of the wing. Hariat. Pressure. Answer. Okay. Let's here It's been a very, very hectic uh, couple of uh, months when it comes out to the game of football in the ladies' category. Came in from the Super League now to the Elite League. Away by Lydia. 
Lidia. Foul. John! Come from there! John! 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 Alicia! Alicia! Harriet. It's a bit free kick. Peace a lawyer. Adongo doing well, but back to a lawyer. And Iracha loses possession. She's still on the ground, Iracha. And that will be a throw in now to Rines. And maybe the referee can actually stop the game and uh, maybe look at what exactly happened in the game because Iracha is still on the ground. Well, the medical team will be going to assess the injury to Joyce Iracha. Uh, jersey number nine. For Rines, you can see her struggling on the ground, trying to pull her leg through, complaining of a knee injury there. So far, it has been a very hard game, totally hard in here. As both sides will be trying very much to see if they can get something for themselves in this match. Rines and the Shimaroons, and uh, information being given to the players, you can see from uh, the coaches there. Trying very much to see if they can uh, walk away with this. And uh, this was uh, the injury to Iracha coming in from uh, Adongo. Some bit of collision of legs, you have to admit. Nothing serious. The legs of uh, Adongo and Iracha meeting around there, yielding to that foul. So receiving more instructions from the coach. So wondering where her lawyers come from, but uh, I think she will also be running down to the coach for more attention. It's been a long, long spell of uh, the action. Change of boots for a lawyer. I she, she's been having a very hard time playing with the old ones, and again. More information being given to the players of Maroons, but also this time round, it is the same for the Rines footballers. And look at that! Look at that! <laughs> I don't know whether the student is in class because she's looking away. There you go, that is uh, Naluima. The assistant coach is uh, doing a lot of talking. You look at this picture here, you find that uh, for Rines, everybody seems to be attention, on the attention rather. As uh, the referee will allow the game to continue here. Still 0-0 zero, zero between Rines and uh, Maroons in the final of the Women Elite League here on UBC. Ball was for Rines. It will be a throw for Wuja Catherine. Failing to control that ball was uh, the Chinga Morin, so it will be a throw now to Shimaroons. Najuko, Justin looking to go long. Najuko. Nantongo gives it away cheaply. Now Nalule and uh, Nantongo penalized for that. She just lost her ball. And then she went a little bit heavy on uh, Nalule Shakira. So Frekik Turines. School side would be very, very boosted by a win here if they can go down and lift the title. But also the same is for the Shimaroons. The most important thing is that both teams have already qualified for the Super League. Well, that's a bouncing ball. A lawyer in trouble here. A Kujo, rather. And there will be a yellow card, possibly for a handball. Oh, given away to the striker, Iracha Joyce Lin, for the handball there. Uh, she wanted to be just too clever. 
Here we go again. It was a long ball. Akujo coming out, not holding it well. And the handball came through. So basically, two yellow cards dished out, and all the two have gone to one side, Rines. Passed away, Iracha again. Inside the D, good tackle, goes away for a corner. Oh, the Shimaroons have been very clumsy at the back and they need to wake up, otherwise they could be made to pay. A new player against Rines, you have to have your A game in, and otherwise they can open up and uh, disorganize you perfectly. But there's a corner here for Rines. Chinga with the corner. It's headed away, but not very far. Could be collected again by them, but they can't. Throw for Rines. Confirmation of that yellow to Iracha. Uh, Referee wants it to be taken slightly behind again. This is Kudia. Harriet Kudia throws a ball in long, collected very firmly at the back there, dropped in and headed away gallantly. Chance for Masinde, switches it long, there's nobody forward, not even Namwembe. The only person available is Najemba, the goalkeeper for Rines. And she'll be taking her time with this ball. Najemba. Flag up. Babi Rianita was offside. Well, we expected more from this final, really. And it's been a final of tactics. And a game totally intense. Hello, yo. Long ball from Aloyo. Collected firmly. Another chance, but driven for the long range shot. But uh, goes out for a goal kick. And uh, Kujo, the one to send this ball forward as Namavi Lydia is failing to hold on to the game. Hit away there. Nalule to the far side looking for possession. And Chinga to the wing side looking to fight up. Good ball through. Defended very well there by the Shimaroons, but not yet over. That's a good shot and good save from the keeper. Nakujo Esther. Well, that could actually go anywhere. That could go anywhere. And uh, Esther Kujo playing very well. Ajuko. Anita on the chest. Is that a foul on the keeper? No. Well, the mere fact that she came to clear. Uh, not to the arms there, so I don't think if the referee will give her that uh, element of protection. So throw here to the Shimaroons as uh, the goalkeeper and Ajemba Elsie. We'll also be getting some bit of medical attention right now. Throw here to Maroons. Najuko Justin. 
Najuko throws that ball forward. Possessed perfectly from the wing and swept away. Pressure's up now. This is Nantongo Diana. Trying to change strategy, looking for the captain, Namwembe Millicent. And she's offside again. Well, 37 minutes over the match played. 37. This game still very much open ended. Hello, yo. Driving up slowly now. Good ball through. Anita trying to chase by the goal. Keeper Najemba Elsie comes out and allows it to roll up to her side. And there's no one closing her down, so she can remain standing there the whole day. Anita, go for the ball, Anita. <laughs> you can hear somebody telling Anita to go for the ball. And yeah, she has the right to do that, Najemba. Najemba Elsie. Chess is on now, collected back at the wing side, and uh, I'll be a free kick for a foul there. Najuko here. Driving father Tima Sinde. And again, good game reading from Uja Catherine. Otherwise, uh, Masinde was away. Oh, we are thrown out to Najuko. Referee wants it taken slightly behind, so let's wait and see if they can do this better. Justin. Free kick from uh, Naluyima, this time on Navavi Lydia. Six minutes remaining to bring the first 45 minutes to one end here. No goal yet. Very intense game here between the two sides. The Rines and uh, the Shimaroons. Uh, Shimaroons are standing in the group stages here. And the Rines also played some pretty good football, you have to admit, in their group. Five minutes to half time. Throw in for Catherine Wuja. Throw. Justin Ajuko. Collected calmly by Adongo. Way by Ajuko. Collected by Wuja. The fight continues to build up here. Intercepted by none too many. Now stolen by the Shimaroons. Turning and twisting well, Nagai. Masinde, sorry, that is uh, Namwembe rather looking for Anita. Anita doing well here. Anita yet again. Takes a time, Anita. It's to cross that ball behind. And again, good game reading from the back. They are good game reading from Aloyo. Throw to the Shimaroons with four minutes remaining to half time. Giving away cheaply for another throw into the Maroons. Lidiana Junju. No foul. Well, you have to admit that uh, the Rines team is actually just giving the ball away very cheaply most of the time. And it will be a throw for Najunju. Throws that ball in long. As they pile the pressure up here, they're looking for something to come their way. Mili. 
Throw for Maroons. The ginger lady. Looking for Masinde, who fouls in the process there, Masinde. And just runs away. Totally runs away to the disappointment of uh, Uja Catherine. She's actually uh, right back, but look where she gets herself. Uja. Three to go. A lawyer. Free kick right in front of the referee. And uh, Shakira Nalule seems to be having a an issue with that knock, but uh, I think she'll let it go. She'll run it off. And the game continues as usual. Loyal. Long ball through, connected well by Akujo. Leading this one away to Namwembe. Namwembe. Looking for Masinde. Is she the one? No, it's uh, Najuko. Najuko, Namwembe is open. Najuko over Dili Dallas with that ball. Still has the ball, Najuko. Adongo. Trying to switch the wing, but intercepted again by Rines. And stolen away by Iracha. Away by Najuko. That's a bouncing ball right in front of the goalkeeper, Najemba. That won't disorganize her. And uh, Najemba totally killing some seconds right now. Well, you realize that there is nobody actually putting on pressure, so she can do that throughout. Yeah, look at her. Yeah. She can do that. Aluima. Looking for Anita. This is Anita now. Collected family. The Junju. They've added two minutes minimum. And the goalkeeper, Najemba LC, falls on that very well. The minimum added to this first half. Najuko. Namwembe. Looking for Masinde. Good game reading from Peace Aloyo. Juko two against one. The referee awards it the other way around, so it's going to be a free kick now to Okay. What's going on? Well, it's still nil nil in here. Something wrong with the graphics up there, so don't mind it. Still nil nil, and it's Maroons up against Rines. That's the game that was played, <laughs> first game that was played some time back between Bunyaru Guru and uh, Wakiso. Well, this game is still nil nil between uh, Maroons. And Rines, a lawyer. One pass at the midfield, 
driving through, but the referee does blow the whistle to actually bring this game to a half-time halt half -time. in here. It's still nil-nil. We have to apologize for the tag up there. It's still nil-nil between Maroons up against uh, the one and only Rines. This game is still very much nil-nil. And there will be a lot to play for in the next 45 minutes, which is very paramount. Remember, if it remains like this, we go straight for a penalty kick. And after the penalty kicks, uh, that's where the champion will be decided for this year's edition of the Women Elite League. But you just joined us. It is the finale. And there is nothing that has actually uh, come from this at half time. It is still nil nil. And that's the right tag that should be there. Rinas nil, Maroons nil. Don't go. We're going into a quick break. When you come back from the break, it will be more of your action and the analysis from John Burns, St. and the team. Then we shall come back with more 45 minutes of football. Don't go away. also recognize the presence of uh, national team's coaches, UFA Women Allied League officials, and UFA Women Super League officials. Oh yeah, it's half time down at the Fufa Technical Center in Nigeria where Rines and uh, Shimaruns have not found the back of the net of either of the teams. Good morning, Ugandans. Welcome back. It's the Fufa Women Elite League Climax. It's the final down at the Technical Center. My name is John Burns and I'm joined in studio still by Ronnie Santos, my colleague in crime, a journalist, and coach Majida Nanta and, and a very, very special guest. We waited for her and she's the right one for us to be in this studio. And Ugandans, be sure you're going to welcome her, Hasfa Nasona. Does that name ring a bell? If it doesn't, it will it will in a while when she introduces herself and whatever little things i'll call them little she's done in football in uganda for football in uganda but first my colleague ronnie santos the first half in a few yeah um very good game uh, for both teams who actually expected uh, maroons to dominate which they have done mm. but having no shot on target in the past 45 minutes it is a worry <laughs> and unfortunately the team that is actually too defensive uh Rines, uh, they have had three shots on target. Okay. Actually, they should be with a goal if the, the shot number nine had not attempted to first touch the ball, then score. Okay. Then we, we saw Maroons um, getting the first chance in the first one minute of the game, uh, which I believe they should have put it on, but it, the red was, uh, Naju or Justin was already offside. Uh, it's a game that can be won by any side, but as, as we look at how the game has been played in the first 45 minutes now i'm changing my mind i'm trying to to, to act, i'm changing actually i'm now going for Rines because <laughs> they have shown me that they have come for this because you see the way how they they are too defensive they have defended very well but also up front they are armed yeah i've seen them trying to uh, make some damages they have actually put some damages they are good at shooting in the middle field 
they are also good at controlling. They are playing with a one lead striker, yeah. Shat Nine, who is doing everything. Like yeah. a, 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 a lonely striker, she gets the ball, hold, don't wait for other players to come in. And when they, ca they come in, mm. she does distribute the, 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 the ball. I mean, she does share the ball. And what I've just seen, they were just not lucky to, to score. Okay. Uh, you have to give a credit to the goalkeeper of Shima Runes. Uh, had it not been her two saves, who knows, maybe they would be down 1-0. Okay, and uh, Ugandans, please put your hands together as we welcome that lady I've told you about, husband Nasona. Welcome, madam. We, are, we don't blame you for coming in a little late because, I mean, stars at times can make those small mistakes and uh, surely Ugandans, please just accept it. She joins us. Husband Nasona, in a minute or two, first introduce yourself to Ugandans, tell them whatever you have, you have achieved in Uganda, and for me, after she's told you what she has achieved, is the reason why she is in this studio for this women's football. Hasfa. All right. Um, Hasfa Nasuna, uh, a crested crane player. I studied at UCU. Yeah. For what I've done in the league, I think I'm the most decorated player. For that, I thank God. And I am that one player who has scored as more as more. Yeah, as I can. Uh, but do you remember the goals you've scored, Haspa? Yeah. Tell, tell like Ugandans that you are the record female goal scorer in Uganda and the amount of goals you've scored. They would like to hear it from the host's mouth. Okay, I've scored uh, 91 goals. And I think for the next season, yeah, I hope to add on more. To hit that 100 goal mark. That century yep. of goals. Um, uh, Coach Majida, yes, we've got the football that is happening down at the center, but uh, 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 being in company with that uh, Hasfa Nasona, what does it feel for you and uh, where is her future going forward? Actually, uh, very much impressed by Hasfa. Hasfa is one of those players who are scouted way back when they were young and secondary school uh, to come into the national setup. That was in 2012 and 2013 starting with the under 20 of that year. Being that now she's consistent, I think this goes to Sha Santos. Asfa is overdue. Can you please become <laughs> a first agent for her? <laughs> yes, and that's how other players can be intrinsically motivated. Asfa is a top player. She has done it all in, in Uganda. Now we need to see Asfa for the next level. Every Ugandan out there, players like Asfa, players like others in Asfa's category, it's time to help them as agents. Well, they are so much working with boys. Please try these women, try these girls, and give them a chance as well. Yeah, how many of you stand in the company of a person who scored 91 goals? I am very proud of being one of those Ugandans that has ever stood close to us for us soon. I know we are 41 million Ugandans as per, stat as per stat statistics, but I don't think she has come very close to any one of you. But I'm very, very close to her, and I'll talk to her and I'll. I'll, I'll kubonga with her because of COVID-19. Otherwise, if it weren't for that, it would have been a big hug. Haspa, um, uh, you missed the first minute of the show, but now tell Ugandans whatever you guys went through. Haspa was part of the team that lost the final to Lady Doves in the Super League. And now here she is, she's come to UBC, and Haspa, we grant you this chance to tell Ugandans whatever you guys went through as you played football down there, and maybe what these girls you think are going through, because you surely speak from an informed position. Okay, as a person, I, I think all of us, like, and my fellow players, we go, we try so much to give our fans, our, our families a good show, and that comes after training so hard. Mm. Yeah, we've got, as far, we've, we've got an agent in this studio like uh, in the studio of mine that I am in, Ronnie Santos, like uh, Majida requested Santos to pick on players like you and take you on. Uh, but do you think that uh, women's football in Uganda has got the attention it requires from everyone, including us, the media? Yes. Uh, as a person, I think it is always one step at a time. Uh, for, for the FUFA, as a federation, we thank them for giving us the, the media like UBC to expose our talents, it is a it is a good opportunity and a big one to us okay. because there are so many people out there that are watching those girls playing and I think 
the opportunities are going to come as more as okay and uh, as for I'm certain, maybe you've gotten a glimpse of this game that we're showing now, the final of the four men elite league. It's Shimaruns against Trinas. At least you know a, a bit about both those teams. Um, uh, what's your opinion about the quality of football that they are playing down there? Uh, actually, both teams have been playing good, but I think there have been so much defensive. We have not seen like one of the team attacking and attacking there have been so much defensive more so rinis they're like they they have not been attacking so hard and then shimaruns try to do it like somehow better because they have been they, they have been pressing they have been passing but the rinas the the shimaruns we have been seeing in the group stages it is not the shimaruns we are seeing right now because they have been passing the ball but I think maybe it is because of it is a final game. That's why they they just fear like to concede. That's why they are not attacking. They don't know that the best way of defending is attacking. Coach, I think you 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 proud of uh, one of your understudies, um, uh, Hasfa Nasuna. What she's uh, how she's concluded that Definitely. the best way of attacking is defending, and of course the vice versa. Exactly. Coach Majida, yes. take it on. I actually like what Hasfa has said. She's that player with experience. Like I said when you told me I will not predict, but the players who will be mentally fit for this game are the ones who are going to show us. So when you look at like fans, they are not entertained. But now, the formation, let me talk about the pattern of these teams. They all had 4-3-3. The very interesting part of that kind of pattern is that you can drop two, uh, two players to go and help the defense, and that is what Rennes is doing. At the end of it, they are six in defense, very defensive, but again, with Shimaruns, what they have been playing, they also put up the other three within two from the midfield, and they attack in numbers in the final third. Now, this kind of game is tricky. What would coaches do? It's a tactical kind of play. Rennes didn't want to concede because they know what Shimaruns can do. They can score at any time. Now they close all the gaps. Now, let us see how coaches now are going to put in that tactical awareness and approach of the game as they are, still is attacking-minded, to see that now they can use the wing play. Again, let the mobility has been less, cut off by Rennes uh, for Shimaruns, but now let them try to widen up the, the field of play and then use their wingers. The left back, ah, uh, the right back and the left and the right midfielder and the right and the left midfielder. Once they widen the space, and the, these two, Lillian and Millicent, open up. So I think Maroon should now start focusing on wing play. And because they have those swift players, players with good tactics on, uh, techn techniques on the ball. Okay. So now, once they do that, because as fans, as people who are here, we need to win. And actually, it's so crucial for these teams to score because this is a final. Only when you score is when you can take it. Okay, as we prepare to go back to the stadium down there at uh, Fortekin Kosana and Yeru, um, uh, Asfa. Your final remarks, what do you expect in the second half? Uh, what, what I think, the first team that is going to score is going to win the game. Okay, thank you very much. Rony Santos, a worker popular doctor. Uh -huh. <laughs> Your final remarks? Yeah, I, I don't see any goal. Um, I'm, going, I'm not going by as far as uh, opinion. Okay. I think uh, we shall go for penalties. I'm and seeing a 0-0. Of course, she says who scores first, even in the penalties, who scores first, maybe <laughs> she thinks we win. Let's go back to Peter Tai, who's giving us commentary of this great game of football. It's the final of the FUFA Women Elite League. Both these teams already qualified to play where Hasfa Nasuna is already at the FUFA Women Super League. See you at the end of the night. Uh, second half on the way here. Rene's nil. Maroon's nil. No change in uh, 
Amari for both sides as they continue to press on here slowly by slowly. Will be a quick free kick now to Maroons. These uh, minutes are the ones that are very, very key if you were to go down and look at how things are standing up in the game. The minutes right now to play for are very, very important. It's going to be a free kick here to be brought in very quickly. It will be Najuko Justin, the one looking to deliver this ball long forward. Najuko. Justin Najuko goes straight long. Straight away, out for a goal kick now. Well, this is the most important stage of the game right now. The most important stage for the game. It's 45 minutes for a title for any of the two sides if they actually go down and win it. Well, it will be a loyal piece to go down for this. But a very long one looking for Betty. Just going to be gotten and swept away. That is Nalule. Trying to fight her way through. That ball just easily glides away there for a throw in now. Well, it looks like uh, Rinez has actually made a substitution, so we shall be confirming that a little later. Some new faces I can see on the pitch right now. And Rene doing very much clearances here. The fight continues, and that's going to be a throw in for them. Throwing for Rines. That'll be number three, Harriet, to throw this ball long for Rines. Harriet throws that ball forward. And the ball just easily goes up for a throw in again now to Maroons. Taking their time on this. It's going to be a long one. And to be brought in by Junju. Before he actually says that must have been a foul throw there from Najunju. Or rather, he has a foul throw. So it will be Harriet to also throw this ball forward now. Let's wait and see if she can throw something better. It is not bad. Ball is on, ball is on. Some bit of uh, confusion going on here. It's going to be another throw in now to Maroons. It's Lady away. Float back again for another throw in here to Shimaruns yet again. 0-0 zero, zero is the scoreboard reading, so no change in anything. Ajunju Lydia. That was a slight push. That will be a free kick now to Rines. And Lydia there. Trying to lock very much the right back to see if she can actually push her team forward. Away by Aloyo. Dongo fighting, all bouncing in front of uh, Iracha Joslin. Adongo doing well. One, two, now this is Anita Babidi. Going at the midfield position. Nantongo, Najuko. Trying to make that ball forward again, defended perfectly there by Rinez. Najiko Justin for the maroon side, getting that ball in very quickly and again swept away heavily. Kept on the far side by Natungo. Some more pressure here for the maroons as they drive up, cleared by Adongo, flicked in there by Masinde. Now the chase is for Anita. Anita chasing. Does well, uses a body right. Anita. Up again is uh, Hariat now. Najunju. Lydia Najunju. Yet again, Lydia trying her luck to drive that ball through, but uh, misses out on that one. She overdid it there. And again, the Maroon Silhoa have the ball in their territory as they give it away cheaply. Iracha loses that ball through now. Najuko looking for the captain. Mwembe Millicent. Najuko. Adongo. Tries to shoot that, but it uh, just goes away for a goal kick. It's a lot to play for here. Still 
expect a lot from this game, but it's still very much open-ended. Six minutes over the second half played here. Oh, we are thrown out to Maroons. Lydia. Rush back to Adongo. This is Lydia trying to fight her way through. Fortunately, runs out over Runway. Goes for a throw in now to Rines. As number three, Kodia Harriet shall be the one to go slightly long. The battle is in the puck. Thrown quickly. Harriet and uh, that's going to be a free kick now <laughs> you can see number 17 having a problem Betty so wondering from the referee what she did wrong Betty there number 17 Jacobola Betty it's free kick now to thought it was a free kick but throw in throw for Najunju a bit of uh, collision right now from Harriet on uh, number four, Naluyi Ma. Will be a free kick now to the Shima Runes. Still goalless. Still waiting to see if uh, those goals will be coming in here. The finals over the Women Elite League. And uh, this is the second half. Just waiting to see if we shall be able to get goals in here. Long from Babidi Anita. And, uh, Goalkeeper just allows it to roll out. Najemba should be a goal kick now to Rines. Well, this was the free kick brought in a while ago. And the header from uh, Namwembe just not yielding anything. Just goes away for a goal kick which is sent away by Aloyo. Anita yet again chased by Masinde. And a lawyer putting that ball out for throwing. Not happy, really, a lawyer. Not happy with Harriet. Uh, did put that ball out for throwing here to Maroons now. Najunju. Naluyi Ma. Just goes away for a goal kick. Boom ball forward, put back again, straight up to the goalkeeper Najimba. Najimba away. Or for it as a word, uh, Rines with a free kick, some bit of a push there in the center of the pack. On the same from Adongo. Found it very difficult to break down the Rines side today, this uh, Shimaroons team. Uh, Rines has actually been very, very tactical in today's action, not allowing uh, the Maroons to spread the ball like they normally do, because if you do let the Maroons spread the ball, then they will be able to hurt you. But uh, so you can say that Rines has done a very good role today. Free kick is theirs. Peace Aloyo shall be the one to send it long. Just go straight up to the goalkeeper there, Kujo. There's a Kujo here. Masinde. Doing well there, Masinde. Uh, to the amazement of uh, the few that are watching this game there. Swept away by Shakira. Bouncing ball right in front. Tongo. Back into the area. Flick back straight up to the goalkeeper. Akujo. Ten minutes played of the second half. Just ten. And still goalless in here. Whoops. Najuko Justin brought down, so be a free kick now. The coach of Rines. 
believes his side can actually go down and win this competition. It'll be big for him and big for the girls to win it too. Second ball! Second ball! Slight push from Adongo. I'll be a free kick now to Rines. Well, they do enjoy their football, the ladies. You can see the smile on the face. That's the most important thing. Number 14, Shakira Nalue. Loyal. Funny for Kujo. Now, Lydia Ajunju trying to drive that ball forward now, Lydia. They are passing through Anita Odia. Unfortunately for them, Nalu Yima did not read the move there. The ball just went straight away to the goalkeeper, Najemba. Going to Maroons. Justin Najuka. Najuka. It's a very big one by Uja Catherine. Straight to the goalkeeper, Kujo. Lydia. Now running forward here, Lydia. And the world by Anita. This is Anita looking for Lydia again, but the reverse pass was poor. It is intercepted here by Rines now. As they drive up, the flag will definitely go up for the offside. Both players, Betty, together with uh, Jocelyn Iracha, we are all napping there. Away by Natongo. Straight up to Najemba. That's a good piece of defensive work by Harriet there. Kujo. Another foul. Well, no serious, serious activity that can yield some bit of a goal in here for both sides. Not seen a lot of that. And, uh, we're hoping to have more chances in this half otherwise for now it's been a slightly dull piece of lawyer trying to steal that ball oh, Masine doing very well there she's very pacey so throws herself uh, in between the ball and the advancing player but now it's That ball go out the corner. Yes, it did go out the corner. Well then, shout for the goalkeeper to save that corner. Unfortunately for Najemba, you know, do that. So will be a corner now for the Shimaroons, and uh, let's wait and see what comes from this one. Justin Najuko will be the one to deliver this corner. Long from Justin. Ooh, there's a chance here that is wide. Just can't believe this, but uh, Namwembe Millicent just misses to score a goal from an open range there. Oh, here we go. From the corner, nice ball through. You can see this. And just a west, just a west there. Substitution here for the ladies in black. Iracha Jocelyn is coming out. Oh, she's had her time on the match. 
and really Well, Chomogisha coming in for Iracha Joslin. Just number 10. We need Chomogisha. We're looking to see how she can actually come back into this and maybe get aside what uh, Iracha Joslin had not given them. Or oh, they're piling up. Oh, sorry, I have to. It's actually Nagai, rather. Chomogisha belongs to. Oops. Chomogisha actually belongs to the other side. So this is Nagai who has actually come through. Uh, it's Nagai Eva. First substitution of this game. Just number nine for Rines SS Women Football Club. Joy Serin Iracha out. Just number 10, Eva Nagai in. A confirmation of that substitution there from the announcer. just realized that uh, the Shima Runes have not yet actually made any sub. But uh, for Rines, they've actually made that first substitution. Very interesting footballers, by the way, on the bench for the Maroons that can actually come through and also bring some bit of a change into the game. There's like uh, Chamogisha can actually come through and change the game. Masinde. Ajunju. Ball here for the Maroons began very quickly. Looking for Masinde, good flick on. Naluima loses possession. Defense has been excellent there. It's been a very, very good piece of defensive work here. That's, uh, Nancha Hilda has been standing very, very tall today, Nancha. But the throw is for Najunju. Allowed to roll at the corner. Corner kick now to the Maroons. Number eight shall be the one to deliver this one. Najuko Justin. 27 minutes away before we actually go for a possible penalty shootout. Najuko. It's a long, good one. And just for the header, it goes outside. Namwembe, Millicent again. Well, they thought they had scored. You could hear the noise. But unfortunately, Namwembe Millicent misdirects the ball through. Good ball in by Najuko. Look at Namwembe rise. Ah, not on target. Totally not on target, but a good swung ball. Very good ball. Well, Namwembe Millicent did meet it very, very well. But unfortunately, just went picking away. Nancha. Throwing here to Rines. Or he says it's the other way. Najunju. Dongo, Najunju. Fight continues here. Nagai. Onside, it's Masinde. What a waste. Well, you can actually realize that uh, the Maroons have gotten everything right, but the final ball, like I'd say, the final ball is the problem today. Yeah. They should have made more steps forward, but again, good ball it was. Masinde should have continued with the run slightly, or maybe crossed the ball. Here we go. She beats the offside trap had all the time maybe to give another push forward or rather cross the ball but it's a final everyone wants to score in the final so you can't blame her for not taking the opportunity to get a goal for herself substitutions here and uh, it will be anita coming out and uh, chomo gisha will be coming in and also nasali 
will also be coming in in the place of, uh, oh, that's Anita. Substitution for Sheep Maroons, Anita Bavidye, and Atom Jacqueline out. Well, that's the beginning Nassali very quickly Jacqueline. in this one. That's how donning on jersey number 16 and, and uh, Chomugisha putting on jersey number 10. Throw. Look back into the zone. Chomugisha chasing. She does well to keep that ball on play, trying to switch the wing. Collected perfectly here by Rines. Now the game is opening up finally. Chomugisha. Nagai. Driving that ball away to Chomogisha right now. Ooh, she takes a tumble down. Will be a free kick here for the Shimaroons. Uh, yellow card given away to Jazzy number 16 there. That's uh, Nanchinga Morin. Long ball forward now. Just goes out. Nice play now, here they come yet again, but the flag is up for the offside. Well, Masinde tried very much to get the game on. She has made a little bit of a tactical switch together with uh, Chomugisha. Kujo here. Just about 22 minutes remaining to play long from a Kujo. As remains like this, this game will be decided in uh, for penalty shootout. As it looks like uh, Rene will also be making a substitution. Betty will be getting out. That's Betty. Nakuvulua shall be the one getting out here. So they're basically bringing a uh, winger for another winger. Substitution for Rene's SS Mini Football Club. Just 17, Betty Nakuvulua out. Just okay. 11, Yusta Kayesu in. Well, Yusta Kayesu, very, very good footballer. Very good at carrying the ball, Yusta Kayesu. Maybe she will be looked at for this one. Nalule here. Everyone's throwing everything now to defense. Ball is away for throwing here to Rines. Mbabire. Keeping an eye on this one to be a throw for Harriet. Be the one looking to send that ball in very long. Harriet. This is Harriet. Collected on the wing side, stolen away by the Maroons. Naluima. Now giving it away to Nalule. Nalule fighting towards the byline and uh, they get a throw in here. Rines, it's good pressure, very good pressure here from Rines here. Trying to switch and make sure that Maroons not uh, get out of their very own half. Confirmation of that substitution a while ago. Kayesu coming in for Nakubulua. 
Collected well by Hariat. Kayesu. Waiting for that, but uh, nothing coming up. It was actually Nagai Eva, not Kayesu. Masinde takes a slight knock there. Brought down by Nantume. And uh, Masinde feeling the aftermath of that tackle, but uh, she's okay to continue. Just about uh, 19 minutes now remaining to play for. Rines nil, Maroons nil. And there's a free kick from such distance we have seen goal scored. Now we go to distance strike, straight up to the goalkeeper, Najimba. She has a very good height and uh, don't think if that will be affecting her very much, Najimba. Chumugisha. Maroons keep the ball on play. That's a super run. But what can they do from here? Nizli slipped away there by Aloyo. It's a good piece of defensive work now from uh, Rines, but it's not yet done. Ajunju. Nalule for Rines. Trying to nick that ball away to Kayesu. Well, Kayesu totally outrun. Will be a goal kick now to Shimaruns. 18 minutes. Well, if you look at the entire game, you realize that it has been uh, Maroons who have gotten the much better chances to take the lead. That is a V. Rene. Long ball away, looking for Masinde. Goalkeeper is out of her line and she does very well as the last sweeper. They are still probing up here. Naluima. Tongo. Hariat to throw. Naluima. Driving a long one through. And stolen away now by Namwembe. Can she score? No, she doesn't. The response again. That's the goal we have been waiting for. Millicent Namwembe will surely get a yellow card for that. But you don't blame her for the excitement. That could be an important goal. That could give Maroons the title. Well, she tries. She's propped very much to get that goal. But look at the excitement there. Well, Millicent, seven goals to her name. She's been ordered to put on the jersey yet again. And she has to do that. She has to put it on back. What a goal. What a strike. She'll get a yellow for that, really. No wasting of time. Poor defensive work. But Millicent got it. The goalkeeper saved once, Najemba. Millicent could not miss the second time. Good run. Yellow try. And there you go. Yellow card to Namwembe. For the celebration, removing that jersey. Currently, seven goals to her name. So she's the top scorer right now in the competition. Namwembe. Fine finish. Very, very fine finish here. So we shall be going for the water break now. We're just waiting for that goal. We waited for that goal to come through. And finally, the goal came.
Well, surprisingly is that uh, the Shimaroons have a lot of a fan base here. The fan base is very nice for Shimaroons. Just listen to the noise. Well, if you look at uh, Mwembe Millicent, she's been, playing, she's been playing very well in the competition. Scored, by the way, hat trick against the Echoes. And uh, currently, seven goals already. Very good striker. Well, that is uh, the goal that is still separating the two sides. Uh, Namwembe Mili sent his goal. It's a good goal. Very, very good goal there. Now the question remains, can the Maroons hold on to the lead here? They can be motivated by the goal. Now the run is again. Listen to the noise here. Masinde trying to crop through. Masinde here. Masinde crosses deep down. Namwembe Millicent beats one, but can't beat two. There's a ball back mine to Ajunju. Stolen away by Nagai. Even Nagai forces a throw in now. Throw here to Rines. Long ball forward there by Nalule. Intercepted yet again. Driving spirits are good. It's a good shot. Straight up to the goalkeeper, Akujo. Twelve minutes to go here. Just twelve. And uh, Rene still have a lot of time. Ten minutes are not very many. Takes a second to score a goal. So if they can utilize their game well. Maybe they can come back in this. Tongo. Ajunju. Asali. Millicent. Away by Ajunju Lydia. Looking for Masinde. Ooh, Masinde again here. Chamogisha. Kaluima. Driving that ball to the right hand side. Collected perfect by. Mwembe, we are throwing out to Maroons. Born in Tanzania, currently Ugandan. Through coming up now, Lydia Tunju. The clip was not her. Uh, a good one just uh, rolls away for a goal kick now to Rines. They are trailing, so they need to send that ball in very, very quickly. Away by Aloyo. Collected millicent. Not exactly where that was supposed to go. I don't know if it was supposed to go in front or sideways. But uh, go sideways anyway. Ariat. Millicent. Using her body very well, by the way, to shield that. Collected yet again here by Nalu Yima. Lydia. Away by Ntongo. Now he loses possession. Nalu Yima forward. This is Nancha Hilda. Lichting. Does the flag go up? No, it's Masinde. Masinde, she's faster. Masinde, it's rolling. It hits the post and comes back into play. She still has the chance here. Refuses through. Goalkeeper comes out and rescues yet again. 
Now this is going to be a dramatic end to this final. Well, Masinde denied by the post. Runaway, Hariat. Shomugisha. Millicent. Namwembe. Now this is Lydia. Very long ball for it, straight up to the goalkeeper, Esta Kujo. A chance it was missed there by Asinde Lilian. Chamugisha trying to drop that ball forward, looking for Millicent, and uh, goes away to the goalkeeper. Good run it was from Lilian Masinde. Very, very good run, but uh, denied by the post, really. But her acceleration is very, very good. Very pacey. Denied by the post there. Well, Masinde seems to be okay. And if uh, the referee had called for a stretcher. Oh, the problem with the back there. Just eight minutes. The rooms to be crowned the champions here. And you go from the back there from Aloyo. The free kick here for Maroons. Long ball, it's dropping up straight to the keeper. A very good long ball that was. Don't go. Chamugisha. Oh, this could be the first title for the for the Shima Runes. I'm very sure that the men's side could be watching. Because they do have a game, I think, today against Calvary. The big league. So maybe this win for the ladies could actually motivate the men to perform well. A ginger lady. Cindy is looking to come back here. Ariat looking to go long. Collected perfectly by Nagai. Nagai swept away by Chomugisha. Oh, that's a miscue. Nobody was there to let them pay, but anyway, the flag had gone up for the offside. Uh, so far, it's uh, Shimaruns leading by 1 0. Namwembe. Scoring that all important goal that stands for now with five minutes of the game remaining to play. Mwembe's goal could be the one that could take them to glory. Away by Ntongo. Chimugisha. Jimba. Put away straight to a lawyer for a Kujo rather. Now she's complaining of an injury. Just 
We're missing a few precious seconds on that ball. Akujo. Away by Akujo. Finally booted away for another throw in by a loyal piece. They're running out of uh, direct ideas. Rene. Chomogisha. Ajiko. Back to Chomogisha again. Trying to drop that ball longer. It's collected perfectly, but the flag is up. Well, Nasali. We recognize the presence of Kupa Exco member in time of Chiapa, Mr. Isa Mabola. The winner of this competition will walk away with the prize money for 8 million. The runners up will take. 5 million, third place will go home with 3.5 million, and the fourth place team will walk away with 1.5 million. In the video awards, the fair play team will go walk away with 500,000 shillings, golden gold 500,000 shillings, golden glass 500,000 shillings, and the MVP will walk away with. 500, oh, those are some of the announcements we've made that the, the pitch area is hard what the winner will walk away and also for the individual awards is a uh, money to also be given away to the best performance still wondering on who will be the mvp of this one you have a, a lupo somewhere there you have uh, Mwembe, Millicent, somewhere there. Also, Masinda has been performing very well. But also, Agenda LC, the goalkeeper of Rene, has been very outstanding. Still wondering who will be the MVP. Foul. Nagai Eva brought down. So, free kick now to Rene's. Two minutes to go. A loyal peace. What can she do with this? Couple of yards away, she tries to drive long straight to the arms of a cool joyster. Hello, you so a free kick now to Maroons, they will be able to take their time here. If they can, and it will be Nantongo, Diana. So find the 89th minute, 89th minute of this one. So I'm very sure we could be having an addition of either two to three minutes. Ntongo. Need a way there. Just a dip down and repossessed here by Rines. Family now here comes Harriet driving up slowly. A foul, they've added two minutes. So basically, the Shimaroons are two minutes away from their first ever title in women's football. And by the look of things here, Mwembe's goal is the one that could be giving them this title. And a yellow card has been dished away to Joan Nagai. From the way I know the forces, that is both police and uh, prisons, there could be a very big award awaiting these minutes, ladies just in case they win this title. This a lawyer. The following officials, 
long away featuring food on a jemba not online this could be costly it's a dropping ball it drops over the bar surprisingly ah very unlucky very unlucky otherwise it would have been two nil and uh, Naluima just failing to target on that world Isa Mavola and Chris Taliban. The ball. Oh, that fast bounce. The reason that's why the goalkeeper, Najemba Elsie, survived. Nalule. Eva, Nalule. Fighting spirit, very good there from uh, the Maroons. They're not giving away any room. Throw here to Rines. Ariat intercepted away. Masinde. Oh, Nasali there trying to go hard. Now Nalule here. We are seconds away from the final whistle. Maroons not breaking. Najuko booted away. And there you go. The referee blows the whistle to bring this encounter to an end. The Shi Maroons are the champions of the Elite League in Ugandan football. Goal scored by Namwembe Millicent was enough for them to go down and win this competition. Well, they have played very, very well in the entire competition. They put everything to ground. They did everything right. Everything moved on perfectly for them. And at the end of the day, it is that goal from Namwembe Millicent that gives them a win today. Perfect football they have actually displayed here. But you have to give it also to Rines, a side that comes into the competition after losing its director, after losing the person that injects the money into the team. Rines, they came here, played well with a good attitude and came on to reach the finale of the competition. The excitement continues to build up slowly by slowly there. The action continues to uh, come up on the other side. And uh, you can see the excitement as the goalkeeper on the other side, Akujo, is also being uh, congratulated. I think the way she's played perfectly well is a very clear indicator that she could be walking away with the golden glove. We shall be seeing that a little bit later. But all the celebrations are still going on around the pitch as the two sides have yielded a lot, given everything for themselves. The party continues. This is the goal that separated both sides. That goal coming in there perfectly from Namwenge Millicent. It is the goal that separated both sides here. And so far, you have to admit that it has been a wonderful showcase of events. It's been perfect football in regards to the action from when we began to where we are right now. Nice play, nice movement, very, very good action. Well, the goalkeeper tried very much to make that save, Najemba Elsie. But again, uh, that from that lady, Millicent was just enough to take them to another level. Well, they'll be partying the entire day. They'll be enjoying this for themselves. It's going to be a very good weekend for them. Full-time, Rines Neil, Shimaroons won. And we will be going down to see exactly who will be getting the best of the best when it comes down to the awards. And if you realize right now, it's an, uh, Millicent giving away the captaincy armband. Uh, possibly maybe to the right captain. But again, job well done for Millicent. She got a few chances to notch one in and when she got that final chance it is the one that mattered the other misses don't matter whatsoever but that important goal that she scored is just enough to give the shimaroons victory in this edition over the elite women's league well namwembe we have to admit has carried that team through and solid performance it has actually been for them very good action. Just waiting to see who walks away with the awards, individual awards. There is the MVP, best goalkeeper. That is, of course, uh, the Golden Glove Award is there. 
You have the top scorers. All those shall be announced today. But I'm going to assure you that is the title for the elite women that will be given away to the she maroons today. And when the ladies come home today or tomorrow, I know they will be going straight to the office of the big men and ladies down in uh, Luzira. And I'm very sure there will be a very big party awaiting these ladies down in Luzira tomorrow. It's time right about now. Wonderful football we have had in this competition from four groups of four teams each to the final two teams, Rines and Maroons. And Maroons actually going on to win this one by one goal to zero. It's been a very good hunting ground for them this time in Jinja. Very, very good hunting ground for them this time in Jinja. And uh, as it stands, we're just waiting for the teams to come out from the dressing room. They've gone to freshen up. And when they come back, it will be the award ceremony. And that's the ceremony that we shall be taking on a little bit later. Our Shima runes. Very, very disciplined side. Good football they have displayed in this year's edition of the competition. It's been a solid performance, good performance there. Well, the awards are being organized as per now. Uh, you can see the medals uh, together with, of course, uh, the, the individual awards that will be given out. That is for the champion. Beautiful trophy, very, very beautiful trophy there. That will be given away to Maroons today. I'll have to admit that uh, Afufa has actually done very well in organizing this. And we did see something like this in the Women's Super League. And now it is uh, the big one when it comes down to the Elite League for the women. As the men's big league will continue today, for the ladies, well, their, their league actually had to go to be played in a bubble. And that's how it has actually come to an end today. Shortly, we are going down to the grounds where the awards will be given out individually. All right, now we shall be going down low. Shortly, we are going down to the grounds. 